I've been having these weird thoughts lately. Like, is any of this for real? Or not? Greetings, salutations, hello and welcome. Welcome to Kingdom Hearts Deep Dive. So, the purpose of this series is for us to explore the history of the entire saga. Uh, so, since people have been always saying how convoluted the story is, I figured I should get my hands dirty. You know, you could just go ahead and play the whole thing and explore the lore and while the things on game on display are not always as clear as fans would like. There's plenty we know that's not happening on screen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play it, the entirety of the game from end to end. And as things happen, we will explain a little bit of what happened on the background, what happened before, what will happen after, what are the signs and what are the little tells. So if you're new to Kingdom Hearts or if you played some of the games and you'd like to understand a bit better of how the story works, how things are connected, this is the place for you. Also, the name Deep Dive is a little callback to a secret video that we'll get to at some point on this playthrough of Kingdom Hearts 1. It's a really, really old expression and people loved it at the time. And it fits really well with the purpose of what we're doing here. We're gonna take a deep dive into the lore and the entirety of the history of the Kingdom Hearts saga. And since Square Enix was not graceful enough to let us use this piece of music free of copyright, what I can tell you is it's it sounds really good and I hope you guys like the little thing that we're playing on the background as a replacement. At this time I'm not even sure what it is but I'm pretty sure it's of good taste and I hope you guys like it. But for the rest of the game I believe we'll be able to listen to the official music for the most part, except for like the very final scene again. But yes, let's get right into it! Okay, so Sora is asleep or dreaming. So much to do. So little time. Take your time. Don't be afraid. The door is still shut. No, step forward. Can you do it? Use left stick to move, tilt it slightly to walk, and all the way to run. So slightly to walk, and all the way to run. He can do it. Power sleeps within you. If you give it form, it will give you strength. Choose well. Alright, so uh, this is a very important moment for our playthrough. Uh, in here we'll decide the build for our main character here, Sora. Basically you're gonna choose which is your strength and then you're gonna choose something that will give up. So you have a first, second and third rank for each of these. Since we're playing on the highest difficulty, uh, survivability is really important. So let's go ahead and pick a shield for our main strength. The power of the guardian. Kindness to aid friends. A shield to repel all. Is this the power you seek? Yes. Your path is set. No. What will you give up in exchange? Okay, so this is the part where people will disagree with me, but everyone loves spamming eggs and just hitting, so why don't we don't do that? Let's go over that way and check what we're not gonna give up. Power of the Mystic, Inner Strength, a Staff of Wonder and Ruin. 
You give up this power? Heck no! What we're gonna give up is strength. We don't wanna just spam X, guys. Let's play the game as the developers intended. The power of the warrior, invincible courage, a sort of terrible destruction. You give up this power? Yes, we don't need it. You've chosen the power of the guardian. You've given up the power of the warrior. Is this the form you choose? Absolutely. Look at our boy. He's all scared. It's a weird dream. Uh, you notice across the series, Sora loves falling down into voids in his sleep and even while he's awake at some point. But this is a very recurring theme. Gain the power to fight. Let's beat stuff with a shield. Alright, you've got it. It's this power to protect yourself and others. Will do. The green gauge displays your hit points or health. If you run out of HP, you'll be taken to the continuum screen. The blue gauge shows your magic points. Magic is still a mystery to you. Very mysterious. There will be times you have to fight. Keep your life burning strong. Okay, so let's fight, I guess. These little guys are shadows. They're like the basic enemy in the game. The basic rank of Heartless. You gain experience by defeating enemies. With enough experience, you gain a level. Furthermore, defeated enemies sometimes leave items behind. You can take these items by walking up to them. Different items can do different things, like restore HP or MP. Hello, Cinderella. Behind you! Well, at this point, you should start learning about the mechanics, but we already used the one that they're trying to teach us. You can lock on to things by pressing R1. Yes, thank you game. Locking onto target limits the actions available to you, especially against other targets. Press R1 again to release a target lock. Yeah, so there, there's people that prefer playing without locking on at all. I am not one of these people. As you see, I try to keep my lock-on targeted with something at all times. Look at his face! This is a very scary thing! It's just a boy at this point. Sinking in darkness. Get it off me. By the way, these beautiful platforms that he's standing on, the ones that looks like stained glass, these are called Stations of Awakening. They're representations of people's hearts, or maybe even worlds. Uh, the store is transparent. Is it really here? This is a field icon. It pops up whenever a special command is available. When triangle examine pops up, you can press triangle to examine the object in front of you. Okay, so this is a neat thing. They remastered the game for PS3, PS4, and they changed the UI and the way you play a little bit to make it a bit more in line with the rest of the series. So originally, they didn't have the, the triangle thing on Kingdom Hearts 1. This is a new thing that they added. Which makes things a bit more uh, streamlined, actually. In the original game, what would happen was the attack command on the little deck on the left would change to examine, so you wouldn't be able to attack if you're close to an object or a door in this case. 
which is not particularly good if you're in the middle of the battle and you're just like close to a chest or something so yeah this is really really good so let's press triangle and check the door can't open it hello look at this little chest Triangle in the command menu turns into various commands. Yes, now we can open the chest. Let's get over here and tap it. That's the wrong side, but it works. You can push lard crates. Yeah. Oh, well, they teach you this, but we very rarely use this. In any case, let's push the thing towards the door and block our way. Okay, you can also smash them more sense. Sometimes destroying objects to use items. Use them with the items command. You can take these items by walking up to them. Okay. The door is starting to materialize. You can lock onto objects as well as enemies. While locked on, press L2 to switch your focus between available targets. So smaller ones can be thrown after a full combo, while larger ones usually just break. And the door's here now, so where will it take us? To the light! Hold on. The door won't open just yet. First, tell me more about yourself. Okay, so this is a very obscure thing, but we're gonna answer some questions and this will determine the speed at which we level up. It's really weird and I didn't memorize a set of answers to you, so we're just gonna go with our gut and hopefully we won't put ourselves into too much trouble. I mean, we're already playing at pro difficulty, like the, the highest one on, on this game, so let's hope to not make the thing even more difficult. Press triangle to talk to people nearby. Thank you. Hello, Selfie. What's most important to you? Being number one, friendship, or my prized possession? Okay, so Sora is like the ambassador of friendship, so there's no other available option here for us, really. Is friendship such a big deal? Yes, Selfie. Yes, it is. And my boy Titus. Hello Titus. What are you so afraid of? Yeah, getting old, being different, being decisive. I guess Sora is a very decisive person. Being indecisive? Is that really so scary? Oh whoa. He's so young and he's already have like a scar on his face. That's metal. And Waka, what do you want out of life? To see our sights, to broaden my horizons, to be strong. Alright, these two are very similar. But, yes. So, Sora and, and the gang really, really love the idea of just going places and exploring and seeing the world. So, it's a mix of both of these. So why don't we choose Seer Sights? To see rare sights, huh? Yes, Waka, that's just I just told you. You want friendship. You're afraid of being decisive. You want to see rare sights. Your adventure begins at midday. Keep a steady pace and you'll come through fine. Okay, I think this means We'll level up a bit slower on the beginning, but in turn it won't be extra hard to level up near the end. Which I guess we can do that, because I like being able to level up at a steady pace. And if I have to grind at any point, I'll just cut the content. You guys don't have to see me fighting the same battles several times, so it's not gonna make a huge difference for you. Uh, sounds good, okay, let's go with this. 
the day you open the door is both far off and very near. So ominous. I mean, with the music and all. Aurora! So many of these princes are not even in the game properly. Like, we, we see them for five minutes. In other games we'll talk to them and interact, but in here it's nothing. Just these little stained glasses and that's pretty much it, for the most part. That's very intense music for just walking on an empty space. Press the options button to open the menu screen. In the main menu you can do things like view your inventory and status or configure and game settings. However, you can't open the menu during battle. Good to know. More shadows? Several, apparently. Well, that would be a great point like to start leveling up. But since we picked the midday road, I don't think we'll get many levels. And again, we're not on a particularly <laughs> good spot here because this is a very hard setting that we're playing on. But at least these guys are dropping healing points on the ground. The green orbs uh, restore your HP, so we definitely want them, because we take lots of damage from anything. Yeah, not even a level. This is a sign of what's to come. Oh, there's a save point. Let's learn about saving. This is a save point. Touch save points to recover HP and MP, that is great. Press triangle to open the save menu when triangle save appears. Be sure to save your progress before quitting the game. Yes, this game does not have auto save, it's a PS2 game, guys. It's a good idea to save often. If anything goes wrong, you can then load your save data and resume from there. Get back here. Oh, the stained glass stairway is like super beautiful, it looks really cool, and it's gonna take us to another Station of Awakening. I love Sora's running cycle, look at his hair just popping up and down, it's very detailed. Again, for a PS2 game. The closer you get to light, the greater your shadow becomes. That's very exaggerated, but I'll take it. Okay guys, so don't be afraid. And don't forget... Intimidating? What should we forget? Oh, they just left us hanging. Okay guys, so this one is Dark Side. He's like a very recurring boss in the Kingdom Hearts games. This is the first time we see him. And I can't recall if we're gonna see him again in this game, except for maybe in the very beginning. But we'll see a lot of it. For a while it looks like this is like a very unique thing and people thought this was like some kind of representation of Sora's darkness, but you don't have to worry too much about that. There's more of these guys, like there, there are places floating, there's nothing particularly unique about them. Oh, uh, I'm not sure if you guys saw that little text that showed up in there, but the back one key thing. Uh, there are several ways for it to gain experience points, it's not just defeating enemies. There are special attacks enemies use that if you hit on the appropriate time you cancel the attack and earn extra experience, which is pretty good. Uh, we're gonna need lots of tech points to level up because as we just saw, we won't progress uh, super smoothly in the beginning, so we really gotta run after any experience points we can have.
Okay, so why we don't have magic? This is still a little bit of a spam game. I'm pressing X several times per second here. Because it's the only thing we can do for now. But at the same time, there's more to it than that. Like, there's positioning and you can jump around and avoid attacks. Like I said, you can time your attacks to cancel these. But this is really hard and we're on a hard difficulty, so I'm not sure I wanna die trying to show you what I mean. At least it happened once, so we're pretty good. Right? Get down here. I'm not super tall. Sora is like a young boy. I don't have double jump. Dark side. Dark side. Get out of here! Come back here! He loves summoning more guys. Ah, I think we did it. Oh, remember the, the narrator told us to not forget? But don't be afraid. Hold the mightiest weapon of all. That's a very creepy text. So don't forget. You are the one who will open the door. Spoiler, guys. We open lots of things. Okay, so now the game begins. Mm. This is sort of homeworld, Destiny Island. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Give me a break, Kyrie. So are you lazy bum? I knew that I'd find you snoozing down here. No, this huge black thing swallowed me up. I couldn't breathe, I couldn't... Ow. Are you still dreaming? It wasn't a dream. Or was it? I don't know. What was that place? So bizarre. That's the station of awakening. Yeah, sure. Say, Kyrie, what was your hometown like? You know, where you grew up? I've told you before. I don't remember. That's important. Nothing at all? Nothing. You ever want to go back? Mm, well, I'm happy here. Really? But you know, I wouldn't mind going to see it. I'd like to see it too. Along with any other worlds out there. I want to see you all. So what are we waiting for? Hey! Aren't you guys forgetting about me? So... I guess I'm the only one working on the raft. <laughs> and you're just as lazy as he is. <laughs> so you notice. Okay, we'll finish it together. I'll race you! Huh? What? Are you kidding? <laughs> Ready? Go! <laughs> Look at our kids. All happy. All running. Not a care in the world. How long do you guys think this is gonna last? Five minutes? Get her the rest of the supplies? So are you listening to me? Yeah, I heard you. Okay, here's what we need to go find. Two logs, one cloth, one rope. Bring everything back here. If you need help, just ask. Can you Nanya? Oh, even if you ask for help, she won't tell you where these things are. So let's go find them. Oh, here's a log. We could just like throw it at us. So about just now, uh, Sora and Perry were talking about her homework. She's not from Destiny Island. It's just Sora and Riku who are 
born in here. Not exactly here, like this is a little island separated from the main world. These kids just come here to play and run from their parents. But yes, they, they come and meet here. Uh, you can even see their boats in this little area here. This is where they park, quote unquote, unquote their boats. They don't live here. But yeah, so Kyrie is not from this world. She came in here from another one. From a beautiful place called Radiant Garden. You'll see a lot of it on the coming games. And this is the secret place. It's a very neat place in the island. Look at this. Who drew these things? I wish they would uppress these things. But it's still pretty fun just to look at them. And this is the most important one. These are, well, Sora and Kairi. I wonder where this door is. Oh, okay guys, so every world has a door. And th this is, this door is special. It's the heart of the world. It's very metaphysical and we'll get there. But what matters is there's this little cave. Kids came here and, and drew all these things. It's their fun place. Right next to this big old door that they don't know where where it leads. They can't move it. There's no way to open it. There's not even like a handle. It's just there. And they don't find that strange at all. It's just there and they don't mind it. And again, this little piece of carved art here is pretty important. So, uh, get a good look at it, and we'll be back later. Uh, there's nothing in here that we need at the moment. Can we pick this? Not yet. But we'll be back here to grab it. It's tied to a cutscene, so it makes sense that we won't be able to skip it later. Okay, back to the seashore. By the way, if you like checking the architecture and design of the world, I would recommend taking a look at a series from YouTuber Novayon. The guy did a very thorough job at looking at all worlds and checking the architecture and little secrets and every nook and cranny of these worlds. It's very, very thorough and very interesting. So we just got the second log, so let's go and find the piece of clock. Okay, so it's very hard to see it when, like, when I was a kid, it was like weird. It looks like part of the scenario, but this is the piece of cloth. You just touch it and, and that's it. But it really merged with the scenario. It wasn't particularly highlighted. So there you have it. If you play the game for the first time, that's what the cloth is. So let's take a quick look at the island. Oh, we needed the rope, so it's good that we came here. But I meant to talk with Titus. Hey, Sora! You feel lucky today? Enough for a little competition? You asked for it. Okay, so this is a very neat thing. They, they let you experiment with the controls a little bit, and you can face the three Final Fantasy characters that live in the island. Not in this island, but in the main island, and come to the little island with you. So let's play the thing and get some beats of experience because, like I said, we really need them. Yeah, positioning is very important in the game because, especially at this point, we don't have much we can do. So let's try to not get hit and just hit them instead. Titus. Ha! Ah, you gained the level. Oh man, I'm really off today. Ha! Ooh, 
I was afraid I was gonna lose on our first battle. I'm glad we didn't. Let's check how, how Waka fights. Hey, what's happening, man? Let's play. Plays for kids. This is serious. It's a life and death. Ouch! Ball to the face. And again, the most important thing here is to move, particularly strafe to the sides. Because since he uses like a long range attack, it's easy for us to dodge it if we just move a little bit sideways. Just try not to be too close at all times because Waka also has a little yeah, counter attack, this one. Whew, we got it. Living dangerously here. That really hurt. And the final Final Fantasy character we have here is Selfie. So let's see how she fights. Ah, uh, the breeze feels great. Alright, now we're talking. She uses her jumping rope as a whip. Like in real life that would be pretty dangerous. So again, as always, for these battles, just just keep moving. It really helps. If you stand still, you will lose these fights. I guess that's the point, that's what the game is trying to teach you. Oh, that was easy. She has a lot less HP. Oh, I can't believe I lost. I guess we just did things on exactly the opposite order of difficulty. <laughs> so, uh, I think we gathered everything we needed. Everything that Kyrie asked. So, let's give her all this stuff. Thanks, Sora. Found something today, too. Here, it's yours. Hi, Potion. Alright, want to call it a day? Yeah, let's go home. Okay, it's getting late. We'll finish up tomorrow. Oh, this scene is beautiful. So, Kyrie's home is out there somewhere, right? Could be. We'll never know by staying here. But how far could a rat take us? Who knows? If we have to, we'll think of something else. So. Suppose you get to another world. <laughs> what would you do there? Hmm. Well, I, I haven't really thought about it. It's just, I've always wondered why we're here, on this island. If there are any other worlds out there, why did we end up on this one? And suppose there are other worlds. Then ours is just a little piece of something much greater. So? We could have just as easily ended up somewhere else, right? I don't know. Exactly. That's why we need to go out there and find out. Just sitting here won't change a thing. It's the same old stuff. So let's go. You've been thinking a lot lately, haven't you? Thanks to you. If you hadn't come here, I probably would have never thought of any of this. Kyrie, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Sora! This is pretty important. You wanted one, didn't you? A Paupu fruit? If two people share one, their destinies become intertwined. They'll remain a part of each other's lives, no matter what. Come on, I know you want to try it. What are you talking? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, on another world... That's a huge ass door. Pluto. 
It's funny how they created the entire world and we'll only step there on the next game. Hey there, Donald. Good morning. You've got a problem, Gertie. But don't tell anyone. Green Minnie? Daddy the Green. Daisy? No! It's top secret. Oh, good morning, ladies. What? <clears throat> okay, so this is the next day, and they're just arriving. <laughs> we and Titus, we are gonna do a little exploring today. You know, to the secret place at the base of that tree. There's gotta be something there, yeah? We'll go there. Don't worry, Walker. There's lots to see there. Let's check this chain. Here's the save point. So I think this is actually a good point for us to wrap things up for the day. And next time we will see lots of hit story happening. So be ready for that. Hopefully things will start to make a bit more sense and we'll see some real action. But I appreciate you being here with me for the start of this very long and very cool journey. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving uh, the video a thumbs up. Uh, consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys on the next one.